Hello guys. In this lecture, we are going to discuss virtual instrumentation. So, let us start. What is virtual instrumentation? Conventional electronic instruments are hardware. As you have seen, the cathode ray oscilloscope, multimeter, or spectrum analyzer. We have to connect the wire from external and they are very big heavy boxes with a lot of circuits and electronics inside them and we have a separate separate instrument for separate work so let us see the basic definition of an instrument instrument is a device which is designed to collect data from an environment and display information to the user with that collected data you must have all seen in the CRL multimeter also there is a display device on the panel and there are some buttons or the knobs by which you can control the settings of that instrument so the same functionality we will be getting in the computers whatever we are getting as a box as a hardwired instrument if we get the same functionality in a computer then we can call it as a virtual instrumentation so traditionally individual instruments were used comprising of transducer, wire to signal conditioning circuitry and output is displayed on the panel and even recorded separately and with the introduction of computer into the field of instrumentation began as a way to couple an individual instrument to the computer and enable the display of measurement data on virtual instrument panel that is displayed in the software on computer monitor and it will also contain the buttons similar to the hardwired instrument or the traditional instrument for controlling the operation or change the settings right so virtual instrument definition uh, we can uh, make in a general way as a device which are not real instrument but can work as an instrument with the help of some data acquisition hardware or in a more better way the virtual instruments are the device which are configured from independent hardware component by using appropriate software and performs custom instrumentation function. So few words are important. Independent hardware component and using a appropriate software. Two things are here. The third is they perform the custom instrumentation function. Right? So we have a hardware component, we have a software part and that software will perform the custom instrumentation function. So these are software based instruments and hence can be reconfigured to perform different measurement and instrumentation function. The same software we can use as a CRO and the same software we can use as a multimeter or a spectrum analyzer. This way we can use this one single software and a computer for multiple instruments okay so the advantage is initially we have three different different instruments they are taking some space they are costing some different uh, amount they have some uh, requirement of power consumption also and all those functionality we are bringing onto the computer with the help of a software which can be configured for performing different measurement functions okay so this work as an instrument means it will collect the data it will display on the front panel for the user and it will have facility for record if so needed even we can add some processing parameters like filters like uh, analyzing the signals and different different functions or data analysis like uh, maybe we can find mean mode median of the signal and so on and uh, so software gives us you know, so much flexibility to perform the instrumentation function so so this definition i can see that uh, we have independent hardware we have appropriate software and perform the custom instrumentation function and the first word device which are not real instrument and uh, this hardware which those are using uh, can be a PC plug-in cards like PXI, PCI cards or VXI cards. Okay. So why the virtual instrumentation is necessary? It helps to design 
a function or a concept in a virtual environment which will take less time to build the design and without adding any extra cost so we can make or you can say we can simulate the concept we can simulate the product or the process design we can test this concept and then validate it without actually developing it and if our design is failed then we need not lose anything because it is in a virtual environment and it is running on the computer so it will automatically terminate after failure or it will give some failure values another advantage is the virtual design will run continuously without the fear of wear and tear of mechanical parts because it does not include anything and the design is running in virtual environment the program can be customized and changed easily as per the requirement of the user and the programs developed by the designers are in modular which are user friendly and user defined instrument so these are the basic components of virtual instrumentation we have a process we have a transducer the transducer is interface with the computer using some hardware like pci card or vxi cards uh, they can communicate over the usb protocols scan protocols or spi i2c any types of protocols they can communicate to the computer and the software will capture that data uh, with the communication bus and then it will display on the panel so what are the graphical programming techniques like in old application uh, most of the programs or the solutions were written in textual based program like c pascal and basics so this results in a source code of begin size uh, and it is difficult to modify and it's understand by other programmers and generally unreadable by non programmers and they were customized according to the client and they could not be used for other client you have to again program from the starting or the scratch graphical programming methods provide user with a graphical environment to use the instrument easily provides a different method of coding instead of high level statement in procedural language like c c++ or java graphical languages code can be selected by using objects connecting them and adding the functionalities there are some visual blocks and the connections are easy just to connect for like two threads and two points we are joining as a line and they are used to code the blocks are used to code instead of text making it easy for non coders also to implement the algorithms so one of the example for graphical language is the lab view and uh, this graphical language is targeted for equipment monitoring and control they are not using any statement as you can see over here we have some blocks and we are not writing anything just we are connecting number 1 and number 2 to the addition block and this addition block will perform the operation and it will give further result to outer part so this is an example of addition then we are doing subtraction and the lower part the lower blocks are for division and creating a sine wave these are some of the more graphical programming language uh, we have cube language we have bounce language we have alternate reality language the most frequent uh, used language is the lab view uh, so the comparison of text based and graphical programming can be you can say the text based programming we must know the syntax execution of the program must uh, from the top to bottom the error should be checked compiled and executed front panel design uh, to give some visualization needs some extra coding and extra work text based programming is uh, not that much interactive to make it interactive we have to put more efforts so logical error finding is easy in large programs and program flow is not visible this is important difference between the graphical and text based programming and graphical programming has data play data flow which is visible uh, and uh, passing the parameters to subroutine is difficult whereas in uh, graphical programming virtual instrumentation it is very easy what are the advantages of virtual instrumentation over traditional as i have discussed advantages of bi uh, we can customize according to the need and we can reconfigure the application and uh, without any extra cost uh, it can give us uh, it can run 
24 hours also without any power consumption much of the power consumption uh, maximum economics of the scale software minimizes development and maintenance cost the advantages of vi actually vi we are calling a virtual instrument and vi is the name given to the program developed in lab view also so uh, in future we will be referring a vi as that program developed in the lab view or an application developed in the lab view okay a solution for any problem or uh, that is called as a program or that can be called as a vi so complex processing of data and measurement information uh, remote and local data storing is possible you can get your data from the cloud also remote transmission of data through wired or wireless communication is possible you can use a uh, uh, special hardware for wireless like wi-fi or zb or bluetooth we have flexibility of adding new functions to the instrument by simple modification of software uh, i have this said it previously also that uh, we can add more of the features like filtering like uh, calculating some statistics of value data analysis and the processing can be improved without any much larger changes in the program okay so the possibility of adding new function for process testing monitoring and control is possible so this was the introduction of virtual instrumentation uh, we will see more of the lab view in next lecture